Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to Assorted Sundries Q&A edition. Um, I'm going to make this shorter. I recorded this once already, and it was 30 minutes. And you don't want to see here for 30 minutes. So I'm going to try and be more succinct. Alrighty, mead. I have tried mead, and I love it. Um, this was just a leftover because many of you said um, on my wine and murder video, you know, oh, Torn, you should try mead. I have had mead. I had it once. My friend Corey took me. It was awesome. It was very warming. Um, I just haven't had it since. Uh, it was a honey mead, I believe. It was delicious, and I would definitely like to have more. Um, do you make your own earrings? Some of them. Some of them I get from discount stores, uh, Burlington, TJ Maxx, um, Claire's at the mall, or whatever little, like, teeny bopper stores they have that have earrings, I'll go look. Um, and then I do make my own. I made these. Um, I have a few. Yeah, I mean, I make my own earrings, so I have stuff that matches if I want to. I'm not especially good at designing earrings, but I am very good at copying other people's earring designs. So um, on Pinterest, I pin a lot of stuff, and then I try to either recreate them. Sometimes I try and do it exactly, but usually not. I just substitute in whatever beads and stuff I want, but I go for some of like the same sort of design aesthetic, I guess. Um, that's where I get my ideas, and then I make my own stuff. Um, but like as far as being a creative jewelry designer, that's not me. I have no creativity when it comes to that. I'm really good at copying. <laughs> um, help, I think I'm using too much Felicity. Uh, Felicity would be um, Chad's soap uh, shampoos. Uh, they're real watery. Um, you guys that have gotten them known, they're very, very liquidy. Um, and he was going to thicken them up, but I told him to leave them liquidy because that's what I preferred because I'm that person. Um, um, one bottle usually lasts me three to six months. So when I wash my hair, I do not actually put any shampoo directly on my length. I only put it on my scalp. I should have got a bottle, but whatever. So say this is a shampoo bottle. Um, like I literally shake it up and then put it right on my scalp. I don't even worry about the rest of my hair. I just get my scalp. Um, and it's, I suds, I put a little bit on, I suds. And if there's any places where I can feel like I didn't get any, I just dab some there. And then once it's all sudsy, I dunk my head under the, the water real quick. And then I work it down and then squish it in the length. Um, so it's already diluted when it gets to my length. And I squish. I don't do this. Don't do this. That's not, don't just squish. And then a rinse. Um, so I don't use very much. But if that doesn't work for you and you actually want it on your length, um, maybe look into putting it in a spray bottle. Um, it is liquidy enough. It should come out of a spray bottle. Maybe that would be better for you, and then you won't feel like you're just dumping on too much. Um, it's an idea. Um, maybe try it and see. Um, did you ever watch Mercy Street or Victoria on PBS? No. I'm weird about um, historical television shows. I really enjoy historical documentaries, but as far as, like, fictionalized or dramatized, I should say, not fictionalized, but dramatized, um, historical things. Some I watch, some I don't. Like I watch the Tudors in Rome and, um, the Borgias. Um, and I like them mostly, uh, but what I usually end up doing is when I watch that stuff, then I go and I do all my own research <laughs> because they don't, they're not quite accurate. Um, I did watch The Crown. I think it just depends if I'm in the mood for it. Uh, I'm currently not in the mood for historical drama, so I have not watched either of those. Um, I just not feeling it right now. Um, how is your band doing and what got you started playing the drums? Uh, the band is has been on hiatus since like beginning of November. Uh, we usually do take hiatus November and December. Um, usually we'd have been back playing by now, but uh, some of my band Nate bandmates got new jobs and schedules have been weird so we haven't practiced since like the end of October <laughs> but uh any hoodles um I'm sure I think we were gonna practice this week but then somebody's working so maybe next week I don't know um any hoodles uh it's fine 
uh, we had no gigs at all last year, but like I said, we had a lot of job change, like real life changes and stuff. So we weren't really looking for any place to play. Um, what got me started, uh, Joe and Donnie, uh, hooked up through like a guitar players. It was like Tinder for guitar players. I swear to God. Um, so they started like playing and writing songs and stuff together and we're trying to get a band together. They found a bass player. Drummers are, that, that was not, it's not the bass player we have now. Um, bass players are apparently just as flaky as drummers. Um, so I decided that I was going to drum. So a friend of mine gifted me a kit and I sat down and I taught myself. Um, it was really bad beginning. I couldn't hold a beat for nothing. Um, but I always wanted to play drums, but we're still girls don't play drums. So I played saxophone for a year and then piano for two years and neither of those were drums. So I dropped both of them because I always wanted to be a drummer and now I am. You can do it. Um, yeah. Uh, did you ever bedazzle that bird you were sent and didn't you have some larger animal statues you were decking out for the yard war? Uh, the bird is still right here. He has not been painted. I just haven't felt inspired, I guess. So he's still just a pigeon. Um, and uh, I only had one larger thing to put in the yard. I have a cement rhinoceros that we found in some sort of flea market barn in Kilmarnock. And uh, I did paint him bright yellow and his horns have glitter um, like iridescent glitter. He's, he's very pretty. His blue eyes. Um, I thought I had a picture of him. I do not have a picture of him. I know I posted it because I've had, I remember people remarking on it and laughing that he was yellow, but I don't know what happened to it. And I have a new phone, so it's not on, maybe it was on my old phone. I don't know. Um, I could walk outside and take a picture right now, but it's been two years and he has shredded a little so he needs an update on his paint job also there's a whole bunch of leaves in my flower bed so um yeah i don't really worry about the yard war anymore because we won my house is turquoise turquoise she hasn't spoken to us since i think she's afraid which is good enough um i do still have my flamingos and stuff though because i like that stuff um da, 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 da. in the video with your mom i thought you mentioned she had some way of putting her hair up to avoid helmet hair any ideas what this could be Riding season will be here soon. No, my mom doesn't wear a helmet, which makes me mad. Um, and I had remembered seeing an article or a video about a woman who rode bikes and what she did with her hair. Um, I cannot find it now. I Maybe I made it up, who knows, but I seem to remember she uh, would do like pin curls and then put her helmet on. And then the heat from riding in the sun with the helmet, by the time she got to where she was going, she would just take her helmet off pop the pins out, shake it out, and she'd have these beautiful curls, uh, which would work if your hair is this long. I don't think it'll work for us. Uh, my mom's only at waist length. It might work for her. But then, like, the more I thought about it, the last time I had a motorcycle helmet on my head, it fits pretty close, right? And I don't know. I don't know if that would work or not. I don't have a motorcycle helmet near me to experiment, so... Um, I know I have a Harley braid from years ago where I just took a braid and wrapped it up in ribbon, you know, so, but I know that they sell sleeves uh, for that too, like leather sleeves. I've seen them in the Harley shops. Not really long enough for my hair, but two of them might work to protect your hair. Um, I have no idea what to do about helmet hair. I don't ride bikes and I don't have helmet for anything. So I can't even experiment for you. I apologize. Um, How's Castiel doing? How about the other dogs? They're all doing fine. Uh, Castiel! Ha, ba, ba. There's Cass. There's a play face. There's, I see your play face. I see it. And now he's just with Murphy. Hi. Oh, I actually got a real kiss. I feel so loved. I feel so loved. Are you leaving? You're leaving. That's how that goes. Hi, Smokey. Hi, Smurfy. Smurfy's trying to hide. Come here. Come here. Ooh, boy. So there's Smurfy. Say hello. Say hello. Oh, Smurfy's never on the camera. 
Oh yes. And they're casting out of his junk. <sighs> Dogs. Oh, thank you, baby boy. So Smurfy seven now. <laughs> He's the old man. Um I don't make smart. Uh yeah, and Danny's fine. She's jealous. She's been doing this thing where she brings the boys a toy to play. Like, oh, come play with me. And as soon as they start to play, she then is nasty, like makes mean noises and takes the toy away and then leaves them. Like, play with me, play with me. No, I don't want to play with you. She's, yeah, she has an attitude problem. She is the one that probably should have went away to doggy daycare camp, boot camp. Do you think, Daenerys? I think. But uh, Murphy is still my sweet guy. Although he now makes Cass play all the time because once he was up there with Colt, Daenerys, Daenerys, Baby Gil. Oh, well, your name is not Baby Gil. <laughs> um, yes, I'm surprised she's not up here shoving him off. She's been so jelly lately. Um, who knows? No, she's uh. She's very, um, <laughs> yes, she wants to play right now. Go play with your brothers. So any hoodles, the dogs are fine. Uh, but Daenerys has jealousy issues. Um, let's see. If you had to move to a different country, which would it be and why? I would love to live on an island. Um, but uh, I have actually thought about this. If I didn't live in the U.S., where would I want to live? Uh, New Zealand. I would like to live in New Zealand. My husband likes mountains. I like the beach. They have both. Um, and they speak English because I'm of the age where it's going to be really difficult for me to learn another language well enough to not agitate the local population. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> if I was a tourist, I'm sure they'd be like, well, you know, um, at least she's trying. But if I was actually living there and could not speak the language well, I just, I can imagine how annoying that would be. So, um, yeah. New Zealand, maybe Ireland, but y'all, it gets really, really cold in Ireland, and I just don't know how to feel about that. And there's a lot of rain. I don't really like rain much. I don't know how much it rains in New Zealand. I should probably look before I say it definitely moved there. But um, they were able to film Lord of the Rings. So it couldn't have rained all that much if they were able to film three movies in, you know, a handful of years. So just saying. Okay. Uh, is there a movie, TV hairstyle, either live action or animated that made you gasp in a good way when you saw it? No. Um, I see them, like if any of them seem interesting to me, and my brain automatically starts trying to figure out how it was done. But I've never gasped in a good way. Um, hair is hair. Um, and nothing's made me went, go, oh my God. No, I just think, oh, that'll be a good one. Ooh, that is the reaction I get. Um, and never animated because it's cartoon hair. The only time I really look at cartoon hair um, is if I get a request to do cartoon hair. Um, except I will say the, the, the Witcher 3, I was very impressed with how they animated the, that video game hair because it is the most realistic I've ever seen in a video game, um, but I've told you all that. Uh, I have made a, <gasps> in a bad way, a few times. Uh, the two off the top of my head that I can think of is uh, Katniss's weird hair from the first Hunger Games movie, you know, when they came in with the chariots and stuff, um, and had like basket weaves. There was like seven different kinds of Brit. And I saw that and went, oh no, because I knew somebody was gonna request it. A lot of people requested it. I never did it because I can't. That requires wefts of hair that I do not own and would require me sitting and doing it on a mannequin and then just putting a wig on my head because there's no way you can do that on your own head. At least there was no way I could figure out how to do it on my own head. Let's put it that way. The very last time I made that, oh no! was the Wonder Woman uh, extended trailer, Gal Gadot's Amazon braid, is a flippin' fishtail, French fishtail, there's some other stuff going on, but as soon as I saw the fishtail, it's like curses. Like, why, Hollywood, does everything have to be a damned fishtail? I hate them. <sighs> My hair hates them. Just, I'm so tired of fishtails. Pick something out. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> if you could have different hair just for a day, and then the next day you have your regular hair back, uh, what would you have for your hair for just that one day? Um, I'd either have total rainbow hair, like total the taste the rainbow hair. Um, I would like to have that now, but I know my lazy self and the upkeep on all that different dye is just way too much for me because um, I know how I am. I just know how I am. And, uh, but like truly different hair, I would love to have natural hair for one day, African hair, um, Nubian goddess hair, like the big, the full shabam, the, the big, full, tight curl, the actual natural hair. I would love to see what it feels like to have hair with that much volume, to have hair that when you braid it, it stays. Um, and I love women um, like uh, Tracy Ellis Ross, who rocks that hair. And sometimes I see her and it is just huge and awesome. Um, I would love to know what it's like to have that. Um, I know many of my girls with, that have that hair sometimes fight it or just like, I just want it tamed. It's just too big. It's too much. I love it. I love it when it's big and too much. Um, I just think it's really cool. I'd like to see what it, what it's like to have it for one day. I'd probably be able to help you better <laughs> if I had the experience. Um, what do you do with your hair while you shower and it's not wash day? I only shower on wash day. I bathe the other times. I'm a person who likes to take a bath. I like to sit in bubbles and oils or fizzy things um, and lots of hot water because I suffer from a lot of pain. Um, and the really, really hot bath, while it does not do nice things for my spider veins, does great things for the muscles in my body that twitch constantly for, and I don't know why they do this, um, but they hurt. Uh, so I, I like to take a bath and I just put my hair up. Nautilus, roll it up in a cinnamon and put clips in it, whatever. Just get it out of the way. Um, when I shower, I'm washing my hair. That's the only time I take a shower. Um, every other time I take a bath. I'm one of those people. Um, what dry shampoo do you use or recommend? Also, have you ever tried yoga? Uh, dry shampoo, whatever works for you. You don't have to pay a lot of money for it. The, the Psst brand or Batiste or whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, it all works. It all works. I, I would look for one that maybe doesn't leave as much residue on your hair, especially if you are dark hair. I know they make them now for people with dark hair. Um, so that the residue, if there's any left, it isn't the white powdery stuff. It's brown for brunettes and people with black hair. So, you know, maybe check and see if they have that. I don't think it matters. I don't think the brands are, it's, it's basically aerosol powder. So whatever aerosol powder you like, I don't think it really particularly matters. Um, have I ever tried yoga? Yeah, I used to, for years, I did yoga three to five times a week. Um, but four or five years, I used to do yoga all the time. Uh, but endo and its evilness has stopped that practice for me, uh, for the time being, because something is attached to something that it shouldn't be attached to. And when I move certain ways, it starts to yank and pull and then I'm down for a week. So no yoga for me for now. We'll get surgery though. We will, we'll get surgery. Or why have you had your surgery yet? Many, many complicating factors, but hopefully, really hoping this this year's the year, you guys. I'm hoping this year's the year. <sighs> then we can be done with this. I can get back to my yoga and my Tai Chi and my weights um, and get some of this weight off and get back to where I feel nice again. Okay, what is your favorite detangling brush? What would you recommend for long, fine hair with average volume? I recommend a tangle teaser. I recommend a tangle teaser for everybody, always. Um, unless it really doesn't work for you, that's that's the reason my ends look nice. That's the reason I lose less hair. I don't rip it out. I don't tear it. I don't break it because I have a tangle teaser to get the tangles out of my hair. Um, the tangle teaser is why I was finally able to finally get past tailbone. I was a tailbone for years and years because my ends were gross and that was because of my wide tooth comb 
and my paddle brushes. Um, Tangle Teaser, replace both of those. So that's my favorite. It has been my favorite for the last five years. Um, what's your favorite scary movie? I don't know. It depends on the genre. Scary movies come in many genres. There's monster movies, ghost stories, um, slashers. Uh, I don't know. I don't really have one um, that's like my most favorite of all time. I have lots that I like. Um, and if you are in the mood for a certain genre, then I could tell you which ones I would prefer. I don't know. I like many. I don't have a favorite. Um, have you ever had a paranormal experience? No. Personally, I have never had one, but I still believe in ghosts. So, and I explained that in the Calvin's Ghost video. Um, favorite childhood experience? I don't know. I know, isn't these fun? Um, I used to like it. My uh, mom and dad, and then like my grandma, papa, and my mom would take us uh, to Geauga Lake and SeaWorld every year. I really enjoyed that every summer. I really looked forward to that. Um, I know a lot of people are going to say SeaWorld is evil and whatnot, but as a kid, it was awesome. I got to see, especially living landlocked and never going to the ocean or seeing any of those things, it was awesome getting to see. Uh, Shamu and to pet dolphins and to see seals and sea lions and things and fish and I liked it. Um, where was I? Do, do, do. Oh, most embarrassing moment. I don't really get embarrassed. Um, I don't waste my energy on feeling bad about something that I had no control over, as it were. Um, There was one time uh, I was coming out of the like student center at college and uh, I turned the corner to walk down some stairs and there was a gust of wind and it blew my dress up and I didn't have nothing underneath of it because I didn't wear anything underneath things back in the day. And uh, there was a young man on the uh, steps below me who got to see the whole show. Um, he got really embarrassed and turned bright red. I apologized. You know, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry about that. And he just sat down on the steps and was like, no, it's fine. So it was embarrassing for him, but I was just like, eh, whatever. Nothing he's never seen before. If he hadn't, well, there you go, honey. Um, whatever. Uh, what's your top three favorite things to eat? Uh, bacon cheeseburgers, number one. Uh, number two, mashed potatoes and gravy. And number three, Mexican food. Anything Mexican. I like it all. Especially if it's got to have a cup. I love avocados. Okay, there you go. Um, worst hair accessory you found that you thought was going to be amazing? Anything plastic? Plastic hair sticks? Plastic hair forks? Um, most plastic uh, claw clips? My hair eats them all. It'll break a plastic hair stick first use. Uh, hair forks the same thing. Anything plastic? Um, they're all worthless to me and my hair. My hair is entirely too thick and too heavy to depend upon a piece of plastic to hold it in place. <laughs> Alrighty. Hey, I shaved seven minutes off this time around. So woot. And that's going to be it for me today. Um, I, it's just a side bun with swirls and crap shoved into it, guys. It's nothing fancy. Truly nothing fancy. I just wanted something sparkly. Uh, I did do some glitter. Oh, and thank you, Ashley. She told me about Lit Cosmetics that does lots and lots of glitter, so I might get some of that to try out. Um, oh, and one more. One more question that I have been getting just from uh, different people who were curious as to how much I make a year on YouTube. Um, now I have 18,000 subscribers. I don't have 18,000 people that watch this channel. I have about 1,500, I would say, that are fairly regular. I definitely have 500 who are always regular. Um, and sometimes I would say the hair vids, maybe two to 3,000. Maybe, I don't even think it's that high. So um, how much do I make a year? 
So since it is tax season, we got all of our W-2s or W-9s, whatever they're called. I don't know. Joe does that because it's math. Um, from Google, which would be AdSense, which is what I made from actual YouTube, I made $600 over last year. 600 bucks. And that is me putting out videos five days a week, three weeks out of a month. So 600 bucks. Now, my Patreons, my beloveds, I made a grand. Ooh, yes. And I'm here to tell you how I spent it because I want you guys to realize that I'm not just like rolling around in your piles of hard earned cash that you give me. Uh, $400 of it went to the new video camera. This. Here's $400 right there. Uh, $200 went to a new video card and more RAM and memory for my computer to make editing easier for me. So now we're at six, which means we have $400 to account for. 60 bucks of it went to my chocolaticas. You guys did buy me those shoes. Totally bought those for me. Um, and uh, you also bought uh, the Tangle Teaser with a handle and my new hair fork. Um, that was 50 bucks. So say that's another 110-ish. Um, so what's that put us at now? Seven, that's 700. Um, there's something else, 300. So that gives me 300 that is unaccounted for. Um, I don't know that I have actually spent that $300 yet. It's probably sitting in my savings account because I want one of those big, uh, round light bulbs for around this camera, which would be nice. Um, or if you would like to think that I spent it, you can go ahead and say I spent it on Cass because that was $1,200 for him to go to doggy daycare camp for a month. Um, and I'm sure Joe probably transferred some of that money he transferred over, for, transferred over from the savings was probably the money you guys gave me. So you went for Cass feeling better. Um, but yeah, I just wanted you guys to know that I was not just like spending it willy nilly. I actually put it back forth to the channel. And I probably have spent that much in different pins. Well, all of these pins, that's you guys. Um, what did I spend on these pins? 30 bucks, maybe, for all my pins. Um, plus, you know, bobby pins, Amish pins. And if I put in what I, what I put out from my shampoos and conditioners and things, yeah, I spent your money on you or at least on stuff for the channel. So now that 600 bucks from Google, it just went to pay regular bills. Keeps the lights on, keeps my internet connected. <laughs> That's not even my mortgage for a month, 600 bucks. My mortgage is over $700, so yeah. So I made $1,600 roundabouts last year for the whole year. So I'm not making millions over here, just so you know. Um, and in case you were wondering, you know, oh, can I make a living on YouTube? Eh, if you're Jenna Marbles, if you're Bunny, <laughs> you certainly can. If you're me, no, <laughs> you can't make a living, but I make enough. And with the generous, generous contributions of my beloveds, of my Patreon people, um, I have been able to improve the quality of my videos. Clearly the video quality is better. The lighting quality is better. Um, it, it's better, which is really nice. Um, plus getting extra things, Daenerys, getting extra things to kind of play with when it comes to our hair. I am able to review more products for you and try things out for you because now I have that extra cash to get them. Um, I also think we're going to do another subby box. Uh, soon, I got I had you guys do one ages ago, um, a poll ages ago on what kind of subby box we should try, um, and I think I'm gonna sub to one uh, so we can, you know, try stuff out. I think that'll be fun. Um, awesome. Okay, that's it for me. I'll see you guys on Monday, and look, we're right back to 30 minutes because I can't shut up. Oh well, this will just be a long one. Sorry, guys. Alrighty, like I said, see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Um, I love you guys. Be good at it. Bye.